Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Christopher with Plan Your Truth and in today's video I'll be doing a plan with me for the week of November 7th in my classic catch-all happy planner. So let's pull these pages off the discs and dive into it. So there's so many spreads that I want to do this month. Hold on. There we go. Um, I love fall. This is my favorite time of year. So I just kind of... I'm going to struggle every week for at least through the end of November, figuring out like what sticker books to use. So I do want to use the um, Planning Thing Houses and Trees. If you missed my, um, oh, actually, this video, oh yeah, this video is going up after. So I did a flip through of these two sticker books. They are releasing from Planny Thing. I'm super excited about them. I love, I can't wait to use this one come like February. Um, but in today's video, I wanna use this one. It is, they are live on her site right now. So I'll make sure to leave my affiliate link as well as um, I do have a coupon code. So you can check that out. So she has some really pretty fall stuff in here. So mainly, the trees, I think, is what I'm going to pull for in the spread. There are some houses if I want to bring them in. We'll see. Um, I do also have the Grateful Heart sticker book from Rong Rong and Amy Tangerine because um, I think some of these fall stickers will kind of work in the spread. Like, I like this one, and there's a lot that are like that, that kind of match that vibe. And it's a little bit more colorful but I think that we can have some fun with it. So that is my plan. I do also, I did pull this. I think this is a stunning piece of scrapbook paper I have from one of my autumn pads. However, I think I'm gonna save this for another spread because since I'm bringing in Amy Tangerine, I think I want it to be a little more colorful. So, or wrong, wrong in Amy Tangerine, I should say. So let's dive in here. I do see these washi strips. I want to see if there's any more or if that's all that we have to work with. Which, if that's the case, that's fine. We can make it work, but I just want to know what I have to start with. Okay, I have that one too. We could bring in that. Okay. So I want to start with this. Since this is all that I have, because I did see there's this one, which I can do as well, and that'll really bring in that pattern. So maybe I do this. I'm going to try this up at the top here. I think this will fit perfectly just right across. Oh, it's a little bit short. Okay, I'm changing my objective here. I want to do this down at the bottom over here. And we'll trim off the excess. Um, hold on, I need to turn. I, used, I just found my Apple Watch. It was lost, but I need to turn on theater mode so it stops bugging me. Okay. Let's see. All my tools are still kind of all over the place from moving. So I'm going to trim this off. We may be able to bring this in on the other side. We'll see. Um, because, yeah, this is super pretty. So I could do this and do this somewhere over here. Or I could just do one of these. So I'm going to hold on to that. Oh, I need to grab some wax paper. So I'm filming this spread a little bit early because I'm going away to Texas. When you're watching this, I think I'll be in Texas. So I'm so excited for that. That is going to be so flipping fun. Okay, so yeah, we're really going with this kind of color scheme for sure. I do also like, where was it? This strip. I wonder if I bring this in up here. Unconfirmed. 
because there's a lot of different ways we could go. And then I do, I want to remember to at least bring in some of these trees. So I'm going to leave this kind of flipped open here. Because they're so pretty and I think that they go really well with this color scheme. So let's put this over here. The thing is I do want to pair it with like a washi tape. So let me look in my stash and see what else I want to bring in. Let's bring in this orange grid. And we'll do this. All the way at the top. I don't, I, um, yeah, let's try it like a ripped look right now. So we'll do that there. <clears throat> Put this layered on top of it. And let's see, I don't know how this fits, so let me look at this. Yeah, it's a little bit so we're going to kind of layer it so that it doesn't matter that it's not the perfect size. Okay, enjoy the journey. I love that. But now I feel as though I need this. Because we have that pattern now, so I don't know if I need to bring this in. Ooh, or maybe over here. I like this. Let's do this. And I'm going to, oh, hello, hello, where's, oh, here it is. Kind of go with this look. And I will do that here as well. I never really do that, and I think that that looks nice for this. We'll do it here too. Okay, so the only thing with that is I now only have this washi tape over here or this like washi strip and I don't have it at all over here. So we'll have to figure that out. Now, as far as this orange washi is concerned, let's add that in. I think layered with this. Let's try that. And I'm going to try it with like a different angle. Yeah, I think that's kind of fun. And then we'll do it here. And I'm going to try it extended past where I have that one. And we'll cut it like that. I think that's a little bit fun. Now, let me look at some of these trees. Because I want to do a cluster for sure. And like a little scene. I think this will be nice with this kind of as a base. So what if we just lay that one? right there, and then I'll do a smaller, uh, I could probably do two more. Let's try this more yellow one. And then a maroon. And I like them different heights. I think that's a little cute little tree cluster. Now, if I were to add a house as well, just like look at that, which, what, what would that look like? Because um, some of these are a little bit too Halloween, but this one would look good somewhere. This would match the spread. I believe, um, I said this in my flip through as well, but I believe that this book is actually a... Uh, 
a reprint of this Houses and Trees book. The other one, the more Halloween one, is, uh, oh, that's actually kind of cute. We're going to do it. Uh, the Halloween one is a, uh, a new one. Or not the Halloween, I'm sorry, the, this one. All You Need Is Love is brand new. This one is a reprint. Okay, so now for this washi tape, this is where I wish I had a little bit more of that. Just gonna flip through this book one more time. I think I would have seen it, but just if I missed it, I would be so mad. So, um, I think the back is pretty much Christmas, but that's kind of cool because now I can bring this book in. Although, no, that's not true. We do have some fall here too. Um, but you can kind of mix and match when you use this too. You know, I can bring this book out again and use it at Christmas time. Okay, so I don't have this, I don't have any more of this washi tape. I shouldn't call it washi tape, it's like a washi strip, but that is okay. Cause we do have this, so I can bring that in. I'm gonna put this back. I don't think I wanna bring this in. So while I'm right here, let's put this back down and save that for another spread. And then I see this, so let's pull this because that brings in that washi tape pattern. So I want to put... So here it's kind of on the corners. I guess I could do that. I could do it here. And continue that scene. What would that look like? It's a little weird since I don't have that washi strip, but I think I don't mind it. Let's see. Oh, I'm missing a cut hard enough. Sometimes I cut too hard and I cut through the paper, other times not hard enough. Okay. <laughs> So my thought was that the, I could put this though to bring that pattern. This is gonna be a little bit strange, but we're gonna try it. And then I'll add maybe just like a tree to that. Right like that, I need a little baby tree right here. So let's do a like a yellow one. Oh, that's a little bit too big. Need a littler one. It kind of is the littlest one. This one's a little littler, a little littler. Wow, let's try that again. Just kind of layer that. Mm, I don't like that one. I do want it to be yellow or like a different color. So I think I will try this one again. And we will just have that like that. If this will come up, I want to move the tree over. The big the big tree. I think that'll help. Okay, so now we can do this little yellow guy right there, and the big one, right there, to give that a little bit more space. All right, so we have kind of cluster and cluster, so this is something different, but we're going to try it, have some fun, and I think that that looks good. Uh, I do want to bring in one of these boxes on the left-hand side for sure, so let's see. Autumn shows us how beautiful it is to let things go. Let's see, I think there's do what makes your soul shine. Oh, I like that. Except these just have one color. Oh shoot, that may be all of them. That's okay, we're gonna bring in the color. So do what makes your soul shine. I wanna bring that one in. 
and I think we will add this up here. Just like that. And then let me look at large boxes. Mm -hmm. That's a little bit too long for a sidebar right now. So I kind of need a full box. So we could do, I don't know. Um, could do enjoy the journey, I suppose. Ooh, or this green one. I like this green one. But that looks a little bit boxy if we just have boxes all the way down. So I think I should save the green one. This is crooked and it's annoying me, so I'm moving it. But yeah. And why don't we do this here instead? To have some functional room there. And then this, I think, would look good here to kind of begin a cluster here. So I'm going to do it just a little bit off of the box. And then we'll add some boxes and things to that. Okay, let me find a green that matches this to put on this side. And this is too big because I already have a double box. So hopefully there's something else. Hmm. There is this, so I'm pulling that. But that may be it. For that green color. I'm going to go to the decorative elements for a moment just to see what we want to pull from over here. There's a lot in this book that we could do. Hmm. So for that green color it was really just these two littler boxes that we can pull from because I don't want to do the big ones. So let's layer this maybe here for Sunday. And I do want to white out meeting because I'm not necessarily going to use that for a meeting. Okay. And then I do have this little one as well that I think I'll bring in. Is that weird here? Just to have like a random box? No, I think that's good. So we have some of the green throughout the page. That looks good. I did pull this too. Oh, lovely. If I wanted to bring this pattern in somewhere else. Let's see, is this weird? Hmm, that's a little different, but I'm going to leave it for right now. Oh, I do still have this, too. We could bring in the washi tape. Mm -hmm. Not right now. Okay. Let's see. Any other big elements that I want to bring in? Because I could bring in another decorative box situation. Let me try and jump to this blue color now. We can do a few things with the blue as well. So I'm thinking this can kind of be layered right here. Oh, it was crooked. Enjoy the journey. I may cover, oh, look, it literally says it right there. So we are going to wipe this out. And before I do anything else, let me make sure that there's something else we can put over that before we get too carried away. But I think we could pull from one of these quotes back here, just hoping there's one that's small enough. Could do this all the feels, that will work. Or better together. Or let's do truly grateful. 
because that brings in that green as well. Truly grateful. I love that. Love, love, love. This is looking so cute. Okay, so now I need the blue over here. I like this one because we have this size box over here. So let's layer this one. Well, I'll just hold it for now till we see what other blue I have. And we have the little baby one. Okay. This just feels dead. I feel like I could use one more big box before I do anything else. So I guess I could look in here. I don't think that looks good because this is such a, a thicker box. I could cut it, but I'm not going to. So back to this book. Um, I don't really want to bring in the red. I'd bring in the yellow maybe. If there is a yellow big box. There is not. need one more thing. So if it's not a box, what about one of these fun quotes? <clears throat> um, like fun with family and friends would be really good. Oh wait, that's already there. Okay, that's okay. Do I have this? There's a lot I could do here. <laughs> I keep saying that, but it's true with this book. Uh, prioritize well-being over productivity. Why don't we do that? Or, no, let's do this. Because that is taller, so that would look better, I think. Right here. So, but the only thing is that kind of gold color I don't have over here, but I think that's okay. So, I want to bring in these two blue boxes. Let's do this one here. And this one right here. Cute, cute, cute. Now, uh, you see how there's like the quotes with multiple colors on this side two times, but not over here. That is bugging me a little bit. So if it will fit, let's see, I'm looking for the smallest one. I want to bring this in because I love this quote. Do what makes your soul shine. Cause, shoot! How many times have I done that in this spread? I was like, wait, I remember saying that already. I'm just looking for the smallest one. So, hope is being able to see there is light despite all the darkness. Let's do that. And that will go. So, I want it here or here. Let's do it here. Although, I kind of want to layer something. Oh, you know what I want? No, shoot. I want this because it is that. Can I do both? Okay, can I just go crazy with quotes in this spread? Hear me out. We put that there, and we put this here. This is a little bit funky. <clears throat> but I love that we have that that matches. Now we have the multiple colors that matches. This is really cute. Do I want to bring any more of the trees in? That's so funny. This was actually the start of how I was going to do this spread was with these trees. That's so funny that that ended up not being the forefront, but that's okay. 
Um, but we can still have some fun and bring some of these in, I think, in some of the like nooks and crannies. So we can add one right there. There's another spot. Um, could add a couple up here maybe, just to kind of spread them out a little bit throughout the page. At least one more with that, a little yellow one. Uh, I did do it in all of the flip throughs, but also as I'm finishing this up, I want to thank um, Amber and Rong Rong, because both of these books that I'm using today um, were sent to me to kind of review and show to all of you, and I'm super thankful for that. I love being able to share all the different stickers with you. So thank you so much to Rong Rong and Amber. Yeah, I think that's cute. Um, I'd love one right here, a tall, thin one. Let's look at, I think I already used it, but we can, we have another page. So let's do, wait, where's, where's the one I was thinking of? I don't know, but this one should work. Yeah, I think these trees are a fun little addition. Um, let's do, I need one more spot over here. But I don't know where. Maybe coming from the bottom here. Let's try that. Because I can do a little bit of a bigger one like this. And then... A nice yellow one. Next to it. Just to add a few more down there. Oh, I think this is coming out so cute. Let's think bullet points for a moment. Um, I feel as though there were some in this book. Let me see what those are. Or maybe they were checklists, what I'm thinking of. Or, yeah, they were checklists. And I don't want to do that. So I'm going to go to, I created this, which I need to update. But I did create this with some bullet points. So let's see kind of what colors works. You know what, actually, I will speed you up as I do this, because this could take me a minute to figure out what I want to do, um, but I'll speed you up as we finish this up. I'm going to be done here. I think this was so cute, actually. I'm really pleased with this. Um, I wasn't sure how it would all come together, but I love it. And I love the combination of these two books. I think that it worked really, really nicely. Um, but thank you all so much for watching. I do also want to do a special shout out for my Patreon members. I am having so much fun on Patreon, y'all. I did do a video talking all about it. If you're interested, um, basically you get a bunch of perks. Um, included with a certain pledge each month and that includes extra videos you could see videos like this early uh zooms lives a facebook group it's so much fun so i do want to do a special shout out to all of them um i'll leave a link down below if you're interested but thank you all so much for watching if you like this video please hit that thumbs up button if you want to see more of my videos you can hit that subscribe button and remember to plan your truth so that you can live your truth thanks so much